and the right body type of this particular hog to be able to stay on a self feeder is he's a big frame pig in terms of being elevated and his skeletal makeup. He's long from the point of his shoulder to his hip. He's a long sided pig and he's still clean up through his front end. His unique combination because of his depth of rib he does have for being off the ground, he tells you that he's a hog that's still growing well, that's converting extremely good, and has a lot of potential in terms of growing and mature, and to be able to hit the ultimate weight of 270 pounds because he has the frame size to do it. When you come into this blue butt gill, it's another hog that's a little different in her type and kind. When you study one from the standpoint of being a little thicker, a little heavier muscled, probably a little wider base, she is that. Particularly when you study her right at the front end area, you watch her skilt walk at you, you can see her tremendous width through her chest, and you watch the gilt drive away from you. She has a lot of natural base width when you view her from the rear. So she had a combination of a lot of thickness and muscularity. She's not going to be one that's going to be big enough in her overall framework, like our barrow is, to be 270 pounds. She's going to be a nice 250 to 260 pound hog for the frame size she does have. She'll be able to balance into that particular weight class and still be real successful when you feed her properly and use the right diets on her. We'll get into, into the market area in terms of controlling her and maintaining her diet properly.